Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at, ladies and gents. I am Kura Isagami, and welcome to another episode of Row Battle Studies 101. Now, something else I've had a lot of questions asked me about on Twitter, and on my YouTube channel, and in our community Discord, and elsewhere, is specifically when it comes to medals. Which one is useful? Which one should I use? How can I determine a good medal from a not so good one? Which one matches my team? And, how, and why do certain medals work, well, work differently than others? Well, in particular, and to answer that quickly, it's all because of the nature of the metal. Because each nature of the six behave entirely uniquely and differently from each other, and simply as much as changing a metal's nature will very vastly change their role and their behavior on the battlefield. Now, of the natures, there are six currently in Metarot S. Those natures are Power, Hunter, Speed, Assist, Sniper, and Guard each of which behave entirely differently with different personalities. These personalities also determine what parts that they like to naturally target, a, a, a Metaforce bonus to how quickly they passively get a charge to unleash Metaforce, as well as passive stat bonuses on top of that for extra, for extra um, oomph and power and feedback to your particular build. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this lesson, which is Metal Natures, an in-depth insight. The first metal on the board we're going to cover is Power Nature. Um, as, you, as you can see here by the three examples, these are denoted by the red crystal um, in the center of the metal or somewhere close or thereabout. Power Nature metals like to target legs mostly with low heat or cool stats. So more often than not, this usually will denote a particularly heavier target or someone who has a lot of higher base power than most than a standard fighter. Um, typically, more often than not, parts that have low power, you can art uh, that have low heat and cool, you can already tell right off the bat are gonna have that higher base power, and usually will tell you right off the bat that they're gonna be the one you want to pay attention to, um, as the one to either stun quickly or kill quickly. And more often than not, power nature likes to capitalize on that by if by saying if I can break the legs first, they won't be able to move and unleash their their nuke skills, which is a very good mindset to make use of in this case. The passive bonus that power medals like to give is 150 bonus points to base power of all equipped combat parts. So this can make very so, so very likely this is this art right off the top tells you that power nature medals are very good for uh, to optimize for high damage output builds. Um, dedicated nukers in this case, metaforce reliance is welcome but not required. Um, primarily because of this. As you see here, the only Metaforce bonus that a Power Nature Metal gets is plus 5% when attacking an enemy. Um, so basically, any da whenever you damage an enemy specifically and deal damage, that's when you get that 5% bonus. So it's not a whole lot. I mean, it's, it's better than nothing, but it's not it's not a whole lot to really capitalize for, for a Metaforce Reliant Metal. But Power Nature is still good in the respect that you can use it on conventional nukers or dedicated nukers that do not need Metaforce Charge in order to unleash their high base damage right at start. Examples of this could be could include, say, Sacrifice for that high ba for that high damage, um, Hammer, Sword, Balance skills in general can can capitalize on the Power Nature Metal very easily. The next nature on the board is Speed Nature, as denoted by the Blue Crystal. Examples of this, as mentioned here, are the Kuwagata Metal, the Cat Metal, and the Rabbit Metal. Speed, me speed Nature Metals like to target arms with high heat and cool stats. So unlike Power Nature Metals that like to capitalize on, t on nuking um, heavier fighters or more dangerous fighters on the field, Speed Nature Metals like to target those that, have, that may be e of equal speed or faster speed than them. This may include ailment fighters or supporters on the field or anyone that may not hit as hard but may offer something that could make life very difficult for you um, sometime down the road in extended fights. The passive bonus is Heat and Cool plus 40 and Evade plus 80. So these like to capitalize very specifically on dodging a lot and higher speed. So a lot of, so a lot of this the, for the optimal build, um, speedy auxiliary fighters, one example, maybe Wind Clap as, an, as one example, uh, Manjudo as another as conventional fighters, uh, Flighter Sea Legs I would honestly recommend as a best fit for Speed Nature Metals because you can then capitalize on that bonus to your Evade, which Flight Legs and Sea Legs already have a very high natural stat base in, as well as the Heat and Cool Balance to help ensure that you can get that extra speed bonus to guarantee that you can outrun even the speediest enemy on the field to either get that buff going or guarantee that you can get that ailment up before Stat Cleanse or someone else can get in, can get in the way. 
The Metaforce bonus that you can get with Speed Nature Metals is 20% when grazing or dodging, which capitalizes and grounds back to what I was saying with a best fit on flight or sea legs, because with that naturally high evade, you are going to be grazing and dodging a lot if you do not have no defender, no evade. If you do not have no defender, no evade on you. So definitely something to capitalize on and also very good for your overall backup or support fighter more than a dedicated one. The third medal of the six is Sniper Nature. Now this one's a particular favorite of mine, mostly because a lot of my builds are usually very Metaforce reliant, um, but I can still make use of it one way or another without, with or without Metaforce charge. Um, Sniper Nature medals are denoted by the purple crystal, as you can see here with the Dog, the Sniper, and the Hornet medals that all capitalize on it. Sniper, metal, Sniper Nature likes to target arms with low armor, so these basically tell you right from square one, we're going to be taking a lot of pot shots, whether that be to something to automatically break it and guarantee a free kill, or something to even just weaken it just a little bit for someone else to take the blow later on. The passive bonus that you get with Sniper Nature is plus 80 to success, which is your likelihood of landing the hit and landing a critical hit, and plus 50 to power. So optimal builds, as mentioned, Metaforce Reliant Nukers are an absolute must if you're going to use a Hunter or Sniper Nature Metal. Uh, Metaforce Spammers also can capitalize on this very easily and very quickly for very quick nukes and then very quick buffs or AoE nukes to all enemies on top of that. Something else that the Sniper Nature excels in is critical hits, as denoted by the plus 80 to success. So you'll be landing, so you really shouldn't have a lot of issues with attacks being missed or grazed, um, and you may also have a very uh, slightly higher likelihood of landing critical hits on top of that. The Metaforce, uh, the Metaforce bonus you get with Sniper Nature is 15% for every part broken when attacking. Now, something to, I want to make note of on this one. Um, this 15% is stackable, so if you make use of a, sn a Sniper Nature Metal and you break two parts on your on the enemy build with your hit, that's a free 30% Metaforce charge right off the top in one turn. Which is also, an ad additionally, the same as basically just spending a turn to charge Metaforce. So in this case, you basically kill two birds with one stone with the Sniper Nature Metal, or, in, or putting it simply, you get to have your cake and eat it too. So if you're going to make use of a Metaforce Reliant Nuker, or just a, a dedicated Nuker in this case, you will generally never go wrong with a Sniper Nature Medal. The fourth medal in this case, the fourth nature in this case, is more or less a counterpart to Sniper, and that's the Hunter Nature Medal, as denoted by the pink gem on the medal. Examples of these include the Zero Medal, the Stealth Medal, and the Trap Medal. They, these Hunter Nature Medals like to target legs with low armor, so in particular maybe like glass cannons or very high agile foes as more often than not sea-based and flight-based legs um, usually do not have a, lot of ver have a lot of very high HP for armor um, and are very easy to break if you are able to land that hit. So Hunter Nature likes to capitalize on taking them down very quickly and very easily. However, as a counterpart to Sniper Nature, Hunter, na um, sniper, hunter Nature Medals instead get a plus 50 to success and a plus 80 to power. So unlike the Sniper Nature Medals, Hunter Nature instead capitalizes on raw power and base power. So these also I do highly recommend for Metaforce Reliant Nukers and Metaforce Spammers, but with, instead of having to rely on Metaforce Reliancy, say for instance Ghost Shot, Ghost, uh, Charge Blade, Beam Sword, Hyper Beam, and so on, um, you can use this and focus mostly on raw power instead of, say, crit damage from a Sniper Nature Metal that would excel in. Um, much like the Hunter, the Sniper Nature Metal, the Hunter Nature also gets a plus 15% bonus for every part broken when attacking. Also like the Sniper Nature Metal, Hunter Nature also allows this to stack, so you can get more Metaforce bonus the more parts you break on your turn. Also another very solid metal to go with, both of which can be used interchangeably back and forth, whether you want to focus on raw damage or crit damage in this case, and they also do not discriminate between shooting and melee based attacks, so feel free to use either or whichever, which, whichever one best fits your role and need in battle. The fifth nature of the six is Assist Nature, as denoted by the green crystal on the medal. Examples of these are the Queen Medal, the Gear Medal, and the Tiger Medal. Assist Nature Metals like to target arms with low heat and cool, so essentially much like Power Nature in this case, whenever Assist Nature Metals like to fight, 
they like to go after people that usually take longer to prep their attacks, which usually can be made useful in, a, in most cases as say like ailment fighters or nukers to help guarantee that whoever is the most dangerous on the field can be taken care of relatively quickly. The passive bonus that assist nature gets is plus 360 to armor across all parts. So in this, with it, pretty much with this alone, the best optimal build you want to give an assist nature medal is a defender or shielder. Um, healers in this case can also make can capitalize on that extra HP. Supporters that can as well because that extra HP can help capitalize and guarantee that they have that extra amount of tankiness to guarantee and confirm that they won't go down very easily or be very or be very easily crippled if they do end up having to take a hit. The Metaphor's bonus for Assist Nature Medals is plus 3% for any action completed. So this essentially will put it on the same tier as, say, the Auto Charge Leg ability on, say, God Emperor or Torito Beetle, where any action you complete already gives you just a little bit of extra Metaphor's Charge to capitalize on, just to kind of stockpile over time in this case. And then last but most certainly not least, the final nature covered is Guard Nature, denoted by the Cyan Gem in the middle of the medal. Examples of these include, as shown, the Aegis Medal, the Monkey Medal, and the Snake Medal. Guard Nature Medals like to target legs with high heat and cool, so much like the Speed Nature Medal, Guard Nature likes to capitalize on taking down the faster of the or more pesky of the enemy of, of the foes on the enemy side. This can include ailment fighters or supporters to guarantee that they can take them out relatively quickly before things start getting hairy for you. The passive bonus that these give you is to shoot and melee resist plus 120. So much like the assist nature in this case, the best way to capitalize on a guard nature is for defenders and shielders or just your tank in general, uh, because shoot and melee resist do capitalize on giving you that extra likelihood of reducing damage by even just a little bit, and sometimes even just that little bit of damage reduced can be the, can be the difference between you losing a part and you keep just barely keeping it to live and defend another day. Uh, Metaphors. A Metaphor's bonus that you get with Guard Nature is plus 5% when defending or guarding. So say if you put a defender on the line and they every blow they intercept, whether it be whether they tank the blow or nullify it, that's a free 5% fill to their Metaphor's charge gauge right off the top. So also very good to make use of in this case. I'd say I'd capitalize Guard Nature for defenders and tanks more than assist, but in this case you could probably capitalize on either very, in, very interchangeably. Now overall and closing thoughts on metal natures, as mentioned before at the start of this lesson, uh, different metals have offered different bonuses. Natures vary per metal, each entirely different from the other. So even among same nature metals, say for instance Lion and Kabuto both have the same nature, they both behave very differently and thus will give you two completely different behaviors and personalities while on the field. So don't be afraid to explore and experiment to see which one best fits what you need to do on the field. Capitalize on the high points of each medal. As mentioned, each one gives a particular bonus. That bonus is usually what gives you your clue as to how to capitalize and use the medal the best and most efficient way possible. Power Nature Medal, for instance, is for raw power for nukers, hunter or sniper for metaphors reliant, uh, assist or guard for your defenders or your healers, and so on and so forth. Metaphors is not always required. Now, I get this asked a lot when it comes to questions about metals and which one is the best to use. And the best question to ask yourself in this case is, are you even going to use metaphors? If the answer is yes, then you need to pay a little closer attention to what metals you use. But if you answer no, then you have basically the entire cream of the crop of metals to choose from, and you can choose basically what metal you want, exactly how you want to use it, and not have to worry about making use of a metaphors. And if it's a metaphors that's somehow useful in the field, then that's just icing on the cake. Try a few and see what works best. As mentioned, different metals offer different bonuses and, and behave entirely differently from each other. So don't be afraid to explore and experiment a little bit to find that sweet spot of what works best for you. You might find that what may not work or may what may seem rather strange may actually be your, your MVP strategy and meta build that guarantees you victory in that next PvP league. You won't know until you try it. 
But with all that covered, I believe that basically sums up this episode as well. So with that being said, I would like to officially dismiss class for this lesson. Thanks for stopping by once again. If you'd like to know more, you can follow us below on Facebook at the Metarot News Network page and the Metabots Forever communities. You can also join us on Discord and the link provided and in the comments below uh, where we are the most up to date and to keep ears to the floor on anything going on Meta uh, Metarot related if for the, with the game or just in general. You can also reach out to me personally on Twitter at Isagami Kura. So if you have any questions or feedback or comments or even suggestions on other vi or mini series that I could add to the Row Battle Mechanics 101 mini series, um, I'm more than open to anything that you be that you'd be willing to suggest or offer. Um, if, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out too. Don't be a stranger. My DMs are always open, um, so I'm more than happy to answer any question that you might have. With all that being said, thanks again for stopping by, folks. Until the next lesson, this is, this is Kura Isagami, signing out.